I just assume if you done thought about proposing to 42 women, then I'm gonna multiply that by a thousand. You done been with 42,000 women? Okay, so I know my new skincare routine that I have been using is a little harsh on the skin, so I want to make sure that my pH on my skin is balanced with a nice, friendly, gentle cleanser. That's why I'm going in with Peach and Lily, and I want to thank Peach and Lily for sponsoring today's video. Just to tell you a little bit more about Peach and Lily, they deliver 100% worry-free formulas, toxin-free, fragrance-free, vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free, and they're Leaping Bunny certified. They make clean, potent actives made for all sensitive skin, and they call it actives for all. Typically, active ingredients like vitamin C, glycolic acid, and more can be too harsh for sensitive skin, especially mine. So I wanted to make sure that I used a skincare brand that I really believed in and I definitely felt like would not cause me more breakouts, especially since I have been breakout free for about a week or so. So for me, I like to double cleanse and go in first with the Ginger Melt Oil Cleanser that helps to remove all makeup, SPF, and excess oils and impurities. And it also gets all of my mascara and my glue off my eyelids. Catch. Then behind that, I go in with the Power Calm Skin Cleanser. This has a pH about 5.5. Now generally with me using Dow soap and things like that, that has a pH of about, I think, 6 or 7. Um, so I definitely want to make sure my skin is calmed. So I go in with this Calming Hydrating Gel Cleanser in the morning, which really helps to balance my pH and help calm any irritations on my skin. Last but not least, before I don my moisturizer, I like to use the Glass Skin Refining Serum in the morning. This has yam, peptides, hyaluronic acid, and it hydrates, calms, and brightens and firms the skin and gives a clear, crystal clear glass skin appearance. Um, it helps smooth out the skin and just makes it really, really soft. So I put this on right before my moisturizer. And yeah, that's basically my morning routine. To get started, all you have to do is click the link in the description box and use my code PATENC to get 20% off all purchases site-wide. Thanks again to Peach and Lily for sponsoring today's video. Guy. I vow to make you feel like the most beautiful and attractive woman in the world. Lies. This very well could be the beginning of my love story. He told me I'm not building any kind of attraction to you and um, what do you want me to do about that? And I tell him, um, well, I guess this isn't going to work out. And he says that's not the response I was hoping for. What? The only thing I can say what? is this is where I currently stand on attraction. I'm trying to find answers, I'm trying to connect dots and search and allow things to evolve to a sense. You fucking narcissist. What changed from your wedding day when you said that you will always make her feel like the most attractive woman in the world and right. you always make her right. feel good and positive? Right, let's talk what about that contradiction. That you to the next day. Jerk. It just a lot came over me where you're not thinking strictly back to the wedding day and your vows, you get distracted by everything else that goes on in the process. You was putting on a show. That's what you was doing. I do. Yeah, I do. Because you was in front of all those people, you was putting on a show. It's hard to say. I, it's not like I reverted back to those vows every time I was going through these tough situations. I didn't think, oh yeah, my vows. Um, it was just, 
you know, you're overcome with you know different ideas and different thoughts, and it's a tough position to be in, I guess you would say. I mean, we can talk in circles all day long. I, I mean, exactly. Yeah. We can. No, I know yeah, yeah. you are. Yeah, you I'm should shut. To you. I mean, sometimes we don't know what in the hell you're talking about. All right, so we're trying a new fragrance today. I only put on my mimosa and cardamom Jo Malone body lotion, which I feel would pair nice with this. I'm actually getting ready to go stretch and um after that I'm going to get a silk press. That's why I didn't glue this wig down because getting ready to take it right back off. My scalp needs to be scrubbed and washed real good. So when I went to Zara not too long ago and I got that blazer and whatnot, I smelled this scent it was in the men section so it's a it's a men fragrance but um it smells so good and even the girl at the counter said oh it smells good even the girl at the counter said she wear it and get a lot of compliments so yeah this is a zara men scent and it's called co i guess it's so damn this shit smell good as hell I feel like it smell like some what do this smell like I feel like this smell like some I've smelled before I want to say Creed Aventus yeah I think that's what it is this smell like Creed Aventus in that big old bottle 1990 Baby, it smells so good. Wow. I want to overspray it so bad, but I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. Don't do it, girl. I ain't going to do it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm shocked. Zara, you did that. But welcome back to another Vlogmas. We are on Vlogmas Day 13. We got a few errands that we gotta run. So I'm just about to run and get my purse in the end. We can head on out. Okay. Okay, too serious with the with the extra shit. Damn, my car didn't even have it. But I definitely have it on the new car. Mm. Catch. headed to press roots to get a silk press my scalp needs to be washed oh my god like i've been Keep using left. this new um look at this wench i've been using this uh biotin hairspray from spoiled child i also got their collagen um liquid collagen I ain't been taking it. I need to start back. But I've been using the Biotin hairspray. And I think that that has like... I won't say it's irritating my scalp. But my dandruff has gotten really, really bad again. Like it had got better. And then since I've been using this, it's gotten really, really bad. So, uh, yeah, my scalp has been itching like crazy. And because I got these claws, 
I just don't feel like it would be good for me to wash my own hair and hole. like scratch Continue my scalp. To SH408 Express towards R20. Because I would have uh, caused my scalp to start bleeding. So anyway, I'm getting ready to go to Press Roots out in Arlington because the Dallas and the Plano location is fully booked until like middle of January, well, the beginning of January. Um, but they have three locations here. So whenever I whenever I see that one location is booked up and I really want to go like next day because <laughs> I really been needing to go um, I just looked through all the locations and this particular location had openings for today which is you know December 13th so I'm going when I get home y'all remind me to go ahead and book me and Karen another silk press out here um, because I mean, if, if I wait, then Karen's not going to be able to get a silk press while she's here um, for the holidays. But yeah, I ain't ate nothing all day. I really was trying to get me something to eat before I got, got there, but yeah, that's not going to happen. So hopefully I don't get a hungry headache. I unintentionally intermittent fast. Like, I don't do it on purpose, but that's what I be doing because I ain't had nothing to eat all day. And by the time I do have something to eat, my first meal will be after 3, 3 p.m. So, if y'all ever wanted to understand and figure out, like, how I sit, stay, snatch, and don't really be going to the gym like that. One, I do eat healthy when I eat. But I also unintentionally intermittent fast as well. Like, I don't do it on purpose, but... When I wake up in the morning, the I just right be doing so much. I don't remember to eat. I forget to eat. You a lot, babe. I wanna start at the top and the bottom, babe. Then you want the shoe with the red at the bottom, babe. You know I like when you ride at the top, babe. She wants your name, name, D O Yo. I'm only doing cash, yeah. I don't need promo. I pull up to the high rise, I'm in the four four. Inside Coco. to y'all while I was at P.F. Chang's but there was this family this group this family that was sitting across from me that was literally staring at me the entire time like I had my camera out but I never turned it on well I turned it on to like get um the food but that was kind of like the first time generally like when I go out and I'm vlogging I really don't care about my surroundings but the way they was staring at me was so uncomfortable I sat there, ate all my food really quick, and I got on out of there. Cause it was it was making me extremely uncomfortable. But I got a gift from Twisted Lily. You know my love language is perfume. They can always put me in the mood. So let's see what they got me. Ooh. I really should put this under my tree and open it on Christmas Day, but I can't wait. I can't wait. 
Okay, it says Happy Holidays in Happy New Year, Peyton. From the Twisted Lily team. It's wrapped all nice. I just love them. It says, Peyton, our team just wanted to wish you a happy, healthy holiday season. Please accept this amazing scent as a token of our appreciation for your hard work and partnership this past year. We hope you enjoy and look forward to seeing you in the new year. All our best, the Twisted Lily team. I really should be waiting. I know, I know. Put it under the tree, Peyton. I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. They got me, how do you say this? Casa Morati Italica. Oh my God. Okay. Should I wait to open this on Christmas and smell it? No, no, no. No, no. This is my first bottle of this. I mean, what's today? The 13th? It's, I got 12 more days of Christmas. I think I'm ready to open it. Okay, so this is, oh wait a minute. Oh God, oh I almost dropped it. Whew. Okay, so this is what the bottle looks like. This is my first one of these, y'all. This is um by the House of Zerjoff as well. So Zerjoff makes these and you can see it by the, by the top. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. This is interesting. Hmm, this smells, this smells, this smells interesting. What is this? What is that? Something in there smells. It's a note in here that smells very familiar. What is that? Is that vanilla? Maybe Madagascar vanilla? Possibly. I gotta look this up. Okay, it says Casa Marati Italica, a delicious Italian scent. Saffron and Sicilian almonds are blended with whispering silky milk notes garnished with bourbon vanilla and buttery toffee. Yeah, all combined with rich layers of cedarwood, sandalwood, and white musk. That's interesting. This is heavy on the this is heavy on the bourbon vanilla. So they also sent some Zerjoff samples, Soprano, Montal Potty, Arab Arabian's Tonka, and Oud Amazing. Thank you so much, Twisty Lily. Emily, I love you. Felicia, I love you. Y'all are both amazing. I love working with y'all. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. I'm gonna put my new girl up. So it's red. We're gonna put it down here with the color. Y'all see, they said Drake got a new necklace with 42 engagement rings on it for the 42 times he's thought about proposing. Now I'm sitting up here thinking, you waiting on me. You done thought about proposing to 42 girls? Drake, you know what? I'm convinced you the reason boric acid was sold out during the pandemic. You doing too much. Hell. You gonna have to take a round of clean the mice before you get with me. I ain't finna say, I'm not finna put up with it. I thought you was waiting on me. I ain't, you know what? I'm not listening to no more of your music. I'm upset. 42,000 bitches. I just assume if you done thought about proposing to 42 women, then... I'm going to multiply that by a thousand. You done been with 42,000 women? <sighs> you starting to give Scorpios a bad name. But you know what? Scorpios ain't fooling me. If, if Drake has thought about proposing 42 times to 42 different women, 
That means you done been in love at least 75. At least 75. You Scorpio men ain't fooling me. See, y'all be acting like y'all beast. But really, y'all bells. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really, y'all bells. Y'all ain't the beast. Y'all the bells. 42 women. What? So anyway, so anyway, I never showed y'all what I got from Burberry. Let me show y'all. Oh, I like this little nook over here for when I do my little unboxings or whatever. It's cute. It's me buying this a week ago, over a week ago, and I'm just not opening the box. Okay, so I got two items. The first item that I got from Burberry are my first pair of Burberry Sunnies. When I seen them, I had to have them. They're so cute. And I got the, you know, the original design and print glasses. They kind of give a cat eye type of feel, but not quite. So that little cat with a little pinch of square, I love it. They looked perfect with my red bob. Like, you got to be careful going shopping when you cute, baby, because when you cute and you try stuff on, if you go with the outfit, it's going to make you buy it. So I got these, and these were $2.80, and they also come with the little cloth to wipe them off in a cute case to keep them in they were really nice so i got these and then wasn't expecting this to happen but i also got another item that i want to show you and this is it really really cute dainty burberry bag in the um traditional burberry design i love it it's really really pretty it can fit my phone in it and a lip gloss and maybe my keys if i don't ballet but that's good that's good that's fine i have many ways that i can dress this up i can wear this with all black beige red white i feel like this is a staple bag and it's nice and cute fun and flirty minimal if you will and the bag was 17.50 so still within my price range because y'all know i don't like to spend over two thousand dollars for purses So yeah, that's what I got from Burberry. So I think I'm about to order me some sulfur 8 off of Amazon. Because when I was in the Navy, I used to grease my scalp with sulfur 8. Sometimes I would use the blue one. Sometimes I would use the yellow one. But I never had problems with my hair thinning. Of course, I was in my 20s back then. But for the longest, I used sulfur 8. Now, given it does smell absolutely terrible. Like, I wouldn't lay up under my dude. And after I just greased my scalp with sulfur 8. Totally not. But I do feel like it helped my hair grow fast. And it helped with keeping my hair thicker. So right now I'm just looking up on I mean on uh, I'm googling like the benefits of sulfur 8. Because I used it when I was younger. But you know all of these different hair care products that black women typically use. It's being said that a lot of the products that we were using on our hair are causing, you know, cancer and stuff like that, are cancer related. So I just want to make sure before I buy it again and start back using it that they don't, it's, it's no, it's no bad stuff out about it. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody Googled, does sulfur 8 help with thinning hair? Sulfur helps to extend the growth phase, ensuring that your hair is longer and healthier throughout the cycle, reducing the appearance of thinning hair. Somebody definitely Googled, does sulfur 8 cause cancer? I think that's kind of sad that before you buy stuff, you got to check and see does it cause cancer now. Because it's like, they're not going to tell you. It's not going to be nowhere on the bottle. Like, 
you just taking a risk. Okay, well, I'm not finding anything on like sulfur eight the grease per se. So I think I'm about to order some of it on Amazon too and start back greasing my scalp with sulfur eight. Cause I can definitely say that my hair was thicker and it grew faster when I greased my scalp with sulfur eight. 